Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you find today's video helpful, please leave a like, comment or subscribe. In today's video, I'll be taking you through the foreign data wrapper extension, which can be used to access data stored in external Postgres servers. In my case, I have two Postgres servers, database one and database two. The database one database has an employee table that stores the details of some random employees. Database two's database has a manager's table that contains the employee ID and years of experience of each manager. In this case, each employee is a manager, but in a real world scenario, not all employees would be managers and you'd probably have the employees and managers table in one database. So this setup is for the sake of illustrating how the foreign data wrapper works. Now, if I need to generate a report to get all the employee records with all employee columns, so employee ID, first name, last name, email and department, along with the years of experience of each employee that's a manager, I can use the wrapper to join the manager's table in my query. As you can see, running a select query on the manager's table from database one uh, returns an error because the server doesn't have access to the manager's table. And if I run a select query on the employee's table from database two, I get the same error. To resolve this issue, we can use the foreign data wrapper extension. The steps on how to set up and use the foreign data wrap extension can be found on this page here. I've included the link in the video description. I've set up my Postgres servers and PG admin using Docker Compose. You can refer to this article and video on how to set it up. My server credentials for database one and database two are defined in this file. The first thing we need to do is install the foreign data wrap extension in the server where we want to import the foreign table. In this demonstration, I'll install the extension in database one where I have my employees table. So I'll be importing the manager's table into this database. Then create a server reference to the database two server using the host name, DB name you want to connect to and the port of the database. So that's what this uh, create server script here does. I had initially missed the first step, that's why I'm getting this error message here. So I'll go ahead and install the extension. To install the extension, simply run the command create extension postgres underscore fdw. Then run the create server script to connect to the external DB. Now, if I refresh my database and click on extensions, I see that the foreign data wrapper has been added. And under foreign data wrappers, I should see database two listed there. Then we'll need to map our current user to the foreign database user so that our current user has access to the foreign database as well. In this case, we'll be mapping the database one user to the database two user. In the options, I need to pass the database two credentials. After running that command and hitting refresh on the user mapping, the user should appear.
And then we'll need to create the foreign managers table. To do that, we need the table fields and field types, which I can get from the create script. Just change the create table command to create foreign table. Then the name uh, of your foreign table. And just keep the table field names and field types. And at the end of the create script, specify the server name of the foreign server we created earlier. In the options, we need to pass the table name from the external database that we want to import. In this case, it's the manager's table. Once I run the script, I should see a table named foreign underscore managers underscore table under foreign tables. Uh, this table references the managers table in database two. Uh, so in the options, it should be table name and not table. I'll just fix that. Now, if I want to retrieve manager records, I can run a select query on the foreign table that's been created. When a new record gets written to the manager's table, it will also reflect here. And we can go ahead and test it out by adding a new record. Now I can also join the two tables in a query on the employee ID field when I need to. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment or subscribe.